playing Alice. Mm -hmm. uh, she's such a beloved character. She's very much the culture of Disney. As an actress, do you think about those things, the history and the background when you approach something like this? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, not you don't want to sort of get too involved in it, but um, I mean, Alice is such an iconic character, and so playing her is you know a big honor and just really exciting to be able to sort of see her as or create her as a teenager and see her at another stage in her life. How did how did you get cast, and what was that like to 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 have the opportunity to, to take mm -hmm. this part? Uh, well, I found out about the film in February 2008, and um, and then and I sent off a video audition to the UK, and then it wasn't until June or July uh, that I ended up going back to the UK and doing um, another four auditions with Tim before I got the role. You know, Tim has a team around him mm -hmm. that he, you know, has worked with mm -hmm. so much, Johnny and, mm -hmm. and Helena, they've done so many films together. Yeah. What was the atmosphere like for you to, to, to come in and, and to be really the, the lead actor in the whole process? Well, yeah, it's definitely like joining a family when you work on one of Tim's sets. I mean, even the crew, he's worked with them for so many years. So, But everybody is so wonderful and they just make you feel very you know, at ease and, and welcome. And um, So it's, it's, not a, it's not hard. <laughs> it's not too hard. I mean, yeah, they're wonderful. Tell me about the process of, of acting in a film like this because it's mm -hmm. becoming more and more the norm that that yeah. you're there, but so much of what's happening in the film isn't even there with you while you're while you're acting. What mm -hmm. is what's what's that like? Yeah, it's it's a strange way to make a film, but um, you just you, yeah, there's nothing really to draw on in terms of your environment and what's around you, but um, you also you just exercise your imagination and. Um, but looking at concept art and models was really helpful in terms of understanding the tone of, of what you're making. So what did it feel like then when you actually got to sit in a, in a darkened theatre and, and see the completely mm. finished version? Yeah, it was really exciting. I mean, just to see uh, how, even how the characters looked like they actually were blended into this environment. They weren't just sort of walking on top of it. it yeah, and to see that depth was, was wonderful. And, and also to hear the voices of the animated characters, and that was really cool. Did it meet the, because the, you must have had paintings in your mind of what you imagined this world would look like. Did it match up at all? Did it exceed uh, your expectations? Yeah, I mean, it. I kind of didn't know entirely what to expect, but it was, um, yeah, and we'd only seen concept art, which is, is completely different, but to see it in its full color and light, and it, it's really, really beautiful. And the media wave that's starting to form around the picture, is that something that, that uh, you're feeling at this point or having to react to, or is it just kind of in the background? Yeah, I feel like it's kind of in the background. I mean, only in the way that um, I I don't feel affected by it in a way. It's not like I see I see absolutely everything that I do. It, I f it feels like I, I do a lot, but I, it doesn't really. Um, yeah, I, I don't really see it, which is it's, it's nice. So I still feel kind of removed from it. <laughs>